Assalamu alaikum. Hi everybody. Today we're going to have an interesting class about the problem, which is the heart of a research project. In today's lecture, we're going to learn about two different things. First, we're going to learn how to identify a research problem. And then we're going to learn how to formulate a research question, hypothesis, and objective. So let's get started. We know that we are living in a world that is full of challenges. And we as human, we love to explore things around us. The children, for example, or babies are born with that, with that enthusiasm to explore the world about them. So they start, when they start crawling, they would start looking at things, testing things, trying things and creating a lot of problems. That's why, because we humans are created to be, like, to be eager to learn and to explore the things around us. And because our life is demanding and every day it is becoming more challenging, we have a lot of problems that we have to solve around us to make our life a better life. And that's why we have to have a skill that enable us to identify these problems, and not only to identify them, but also to find solutions for them that enable us to make our life a better life. That's why we need to understand what is a research problem. A research problem is the first step in any research process. And there is a saying that if there is no problem, then there is no need to do research because there is no need for it. So, a research problem is basically a question that we wanted to answer or maybe it's an assumption that we want to investigate and to make sure what is exactly that thing. And when there is a research problem and when we solve that research problem, we can reach to a solution that would improve our life. However, in our life, there are some of the things that cannot be like answered. For example, if we just consider the first part, which is what is the research problem, something that we want to explore. Let's give the current example in our life nowadays. We are actually facing COVID-19 challenge, which really, really like frightening and stressful. It affects a lot of things in our life. It affects the economy, it affects our health, and it affects everything virtually in, 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 in our life. So maybe you can ask questions, for example, for example, how the COVID-19 form, or for example, what is the most like affected aid group by COVID-19? Is it the elderly? Is it the children? How COVID-19, for example, uh, is actually transferred and how it is infecting people, for example, how it affects our immune system, what does it do in our body, and how, for example, COVID-19 is affecting the economy in Oman, or something like this. You see, these are questions that we need to answer them in order to, to live with the condition of COVID-19 and also to to actually to cure this disease. However, there are some of the questions that if we ask, we will not reach a conclusion. An example of this is basically asking how many sand particles in the world? Well, this is a question, but can we really answer this question? Is it doable? Is it feasible? No, of course. Why? Because if we look at the sand, and each sand particle is just like this. We just can, sometimes we cannot see it even with our naked eye. So counting all the sand in the world, or to answer this question, how many sand particles in the world, we have to count all the sand particles in the world, which is something really impossible. We cannot do it because it will take the whole life. We cannot do it because we don't have the instrument to do it and we don't have the money that's why it is not feasible not doable so not all questions can be 
a research problem or can be answered because simply they are difficult to answer and they are not not really a research question something very important to keep in mind that formulating a research problem is very important because it is like a road map let's assume that you want to go from point a to the final point and you are going to cross all of these puzzles are you able would you be able to reach the end point easily let's say if I say to you that you have to cross all the way all the way to the end point just in one hour well it will be very difficult to do it because you can see there are different directions that you might take and because you don't have a clear mind a clear plan a clear road map so you won't be able to reach the end point and to to achieve your objective now pay attention to the word objective to achieve your objective in that set time frame that's why you need to have a road map which it can which it can show you which direction you're gonna take so you will reach your objective in the set time the same things for a research problem if you did not identify a research problem and you did not identify a question for that research problem very clear things then you want to be able to answer that research question and you want to be able to solve that particular problem because simply you would be doing different things you would be collecting data here you would be asking those people you would be going to this lab or maybe let's say spending this money and that money and then at the end of the day you will run out of the time and you did not answer the question and again if we bring it back to the current situation with COVID-19 you would see that the world now is running again as the time they have to find a vaccine for example that would cure the disease and we have a very limited time if you are a researcher and you are the one who is going to create this vaccine then you need to work very fast with a clear mind you have to do your work professionally and you have to make it very clear because otherwise you are running off the time you don't have that much time and if you don't solve the problem if you don't find vaccine the world might be gone because the disease is spreading all over the world so you see that's why very important to have a clear road map in journeys or even in the research journey now what is a good research question and how this good research question can help us to achieve or what kind of things that we can achieve with having a research question well a good research question would help you to determine where and what kind of research that would be conducted. For example, when you ask the question, what is the impact of COVID-19 on the economy of Oman? Then by having this problem, by having this specific question, okay, you would, you know that you are actually searching about or trying to study the impact of the disease COVID-19 the virus I mean of COVID-19 on the economy where exactly in Oman and by doing this you would be knowing what exactly you are searching for you are searching specifically on the impact finding the impact of COVID-19 on the economy so COVID-19 economy it's very clear it's not the health it's not it's it's not the health it's not the tourism it's just the economy the economy so things are specific by having this research questions and because now you have a clear mind and a clear plan by having this research question you would be able to identify specific objectives of the study that you want to address you you are just investigating the impact of COVID-19 let's say on the economy in Oman so it is very clear things what is the benefit of this or doing this at the end of the day by answering this question we would be able to gain more knowledge because one because why are we asking this question in the first place because we don't have an answer to it we don't know what is exactly happening we want to investigate and we want to have an answer for that thing so 
by answering this question or by doing this research, we would be able to know the impact, let's say, of the COVID-19 on the economy in Oman. And by doing that, we will gain knowledge. And therefore, we would try to find solution of that problem. You see? And that actually would make our life better. Our life better. Now, let me give you an example so you would digest what I'm saying here. What is exactly a problem, a research question, a hypothesis, and a study objective? Well, basically in any research, in any research, you have to understand these four different components. Because those four different components would make you doing a good research. First of all, what is a problem? Now, we know a problem is something that we want to investigate. It's something, a challenge that we are facing. It is a lack, it is a gap in knowledge, something that if we address it, we will build better life. That's a problem. What is a question? A research question basically should be connected and linked very well to the problem. So, so if the problem is the impact of COVID-19, if the problem, let's say, COVID-19 have a negative impact on the economy of Oman, if I use this one, then, then this is the problem that we know that we have seen, we are observing that COVID-19 is causing negative impact on the economy of Oman. It's going down. So what would be a research question for that one? The research question can be what is or how COVID-19 is impacting or affecting the economy of Oman. You see, it's related to the problem and it's very specific. Then what is the hypothesis? Then you would say that the hypothesis that you, you have to build your hypothesis based on knowledge that you have in mind. So let's say that you are observing that COVID-19 have an impact on the economy, reducing the economy of Oman. And why is that? Because you are observing and you, you have read and you have seen that probably because with COVID-19 everything is closed up and nobody is going to work and so on and so on and so on and because of that the economy and the activities the economical activities in the country is going down and that's why the economy is going down and you also seeing the impact on COVID-19 in the whole world and because you know that the whole world is interconnected to each other so you would see that even the international or the global economy is going down and you are expecting that the economy in Oman also is going down. Well, a research hypothesis is basically nothing but it is expectation. But this expectation should be based on knowledge, existing knowledge that you have. It is not random. It is you have observed, seen, and you have it from something. So if we go back to the example of COVID-19 on the economy, you can say that, well, the economy of Oman is probably going down because all the economical activities are closed up because of the lockdown in the country as a measure to protect spread and to stop the spread or limit the spread of COVID-19. That's why the economy is going down. This is just a simple example. And what is the objective? Now, the objective, again, is also related to the problem. The objective is basically trying to answer why do I'm doing this? Why do I'm doing this? Why I'm doing this research? So in this case, I'm doing this research to study how COVID-19 is impacting the economy. To study or to describe or to investigate, you can use different terms, how COVID-19 is affecting the economy. This is one example that is related to COVID-19. Let, let me now give you another example, which is related to the slide you see here. The problem. One guy, imagine yourself that you went to a village, okay, and you observe that most of the farmers in that village are not using new technology. So this is something strange. We are in 2020, but they are not using any technology. Then you ask yourself, why? Why does that happen here in the first place? Then you would ask your question. Again, remember, the question should be related to the problem. You would ask the question, are farmers not, are farmers unable to adopt new technology because of their finance are limited? So this is a research question. 
Now, what is the hypothesis? Your hypothesis, again, it is an expectation. So you are expecting that the farmers in the village, village are not able to use a new technology because they have a limited financial resources. And what would be your objective? Your objective is basically to describe how the, how the financial resources influence farmers' decision in adopting a new technology. So I guess by this, uh, you you would be now familiar with what is a question, a problem, a research hypothesis, and study objective. To make you understanding this very well, I would give you an exercise. And your exercise here is basically to think, spend a time, let's say 10 minutes, and then make a brainstorm. Think about a research problem. Then formulate a research question, a hypothesis, an objective. And then after that time, we can discuss it. And, or you can send it to me by email. And we would be discussing all of these together so we can understand and answer it. Also, I would advise you to watch the other videos that I posted in the model about research question, research problem, and why research is really cool, why research is really something interesting in the world. Thank you very much.